I'm gonna tell you everything that you need to know to eat at Shake Shack, okay? Here in Toronto, it literally just opened. Um, the line is very long, but it doesn't feel that long because they're on military time, okay? So it goes very it goes very fast. So yes, wait in line. Items range, range from $5.99 to $14 per item. It's not cheap, it's Shake Shack, it's a TikTok restaurant, you know what it is. I got a little bit of everything so everybody can understand and know what it's like to eat at Shake Shack so nobody is like I got just the Shake Shack burger the single patties let's eat that got the cheese fries which we're gonna eat the burger that, that's what the burger burger looks like I just got the Shake Shack burger it's like eight dollars mm. no combo so I have to buy each item individually so buy the fries with the burger mm. it is really good it's really good it's really packed in there but they're on military time like they got they know the 50 people working mm. It took me 20 minutes to find an abandoned alley, but this is really good. They make, because it's so busy, everything everything is fresh. Mmm. Mmm. The burger, the burger is really good. Let's try the cheese fries. Let's just try the fry. Again, it's fresh because everything because it's so busy. So that's to make it crispy and like soft on the inside. I like. I love a good crinkled fry, but they didn't put a, they didn't put a lot of like cheese and bacon on it. They really don't. So that's really interesting. So I'm gonna try. Oh, I did ask her for a fork, so she gave me a fork, and they're really nice. The employees are really nice. Okay, so we're gonna taste some of this here. Oh. Not enough cheese. Cheese is good. Mm. Cheese is like craft cheese, but melted. Bacon is crispy. It's really good. Mm. Mm. I got a hot dog. So, so far, mm, fries, 8 out of 10. This, with the bacon and cheese, there should be more cheese in it. 7 out of 10. You don't need the cheese. If they're going to put that much cheese, then I don't need the cheese. Ooh, this is just a regular hot dog. There's no sauce, no nothing. It's a plain hot dog. For those of you who like hot dog, I don't buy hot dogs. I mean, I actually do like a hot dog, but I don't eat it like that. We're just gonna pr put some ketchup on here. It's about times a lot of these like US fast foods come here. And the thing is sometimes with the franchisee stuff, like the restaurants usually don't translate to the next country the next city right away from the original city it usually doesn't translate but so far so good that's all i got they did have um mustard and relish and all of that <clears throat> but they're ran out of like the cups so i couldn't get in cups so i only got packets of ketchup mm. don't buy this mm -mm. the bread is useless the hot dog is not thick at all. Mm-hmm. And why is it, look at all that space. Why is it thick? Why is it empty? The hot dog is okay. It's not super flavorful like other hot dogs, the like Costco hot dog. And it feels empty. Look at all that space. Don't buy this. Mm -mm. Before we go to our next item, how are you guys doing? Don't forget to subscribe. I drove two hours to get to Toronto. Wait in line for 20 minutes. Look for parking for another 20 minutes. If you do not subscribe, I do not know you. Okay. If you have subscribed and liked this video, welcome to the family. Um, while we wait, I wanted, they have this unsweetened lemonade and sweet and lemonade, but it's sold out. So I really wanted, no, not lemonade, iced tea. I really wanted the iced teas, like sweetened 
I wanted like the mid, I think it's called half and half or something where you get half unsweetened, half sweetened, and, or just full sweetened iced tea. They're both sold, oh, they're both sold out of the iced tea. So I got their vanilla shake. This is their vanilla ice shake, um, vanilla milkshake. It's good, it's not overly sweetened. It does not taste like a vanilla ice cream. It tastes like a vanilla ice shake. It's not too sweet. It's not thick either. I think I have been looking for parking for 20 minutes. I did buy beer, but I'm gonna try when I get home, obviously, because I have to drive back home. That's what I got. I'll let you guys know in the comments down below if you guys are wondering what that is. Um, get another fry before we go into our chicken nuggets. So they have chicken nuggets, they have chicken burgers. I'm not gonna get a chicken burger, but I feel like the, the meat and the chicken nuggets would be the same thing as a chicken burger. Let's take a look at the chicken nuggets. Okay. Oh, and I got ranch. They have dipping sauces for the chicken nuggets. And I will tell you if this is... Mm. Do you see how that crumbled into my mouth? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, baby. Oh, it's good. Mmm. That is so good. <gasps> Where's my ranch? They didn't give me my ranch? I saw the girl. had. She had the ranch in her hand. I guess we'll try the ketchup. But that's so annoying. I was really looking forward to the ranch. Oh, well. Okay, we're moving on. The chicken nuggets is really good. I'm, I'm sure it would have been a more incredible with the ranch sauce. I don't know where it is. I, it's, I didn't spill it anywhere. So I didn't spill the bag. So it should still be in the bag. So that's so crazy. But these chicken nuggets are really freaking good. Like they're soft. The chicken is soft on the inside. The breading is crispy. They taste like a chicken, what a chicken burger would. But it's not, it's not that crispy. It's like soft crispy. Yeah, that's good. I think I'm going to save that. Fudge, 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 fudge. Everything is so good. Except for the milkshake. Mmm. Like, for real, for real? What is that? That is so good. I'll give that 9 out of 10, but it's expensive. So, this is six chicken nuggets for $8. $7.99. Six chicken nuggets for $7.99. Okay, so, but it's it's really, really good though. It's like fresh and it's so good. The chicken is like really meaty in there. I've been gardening all day. So that's why I'm, like, I'm so exhausted. I don't think you guys understand. If you guys are like, oh my God, MJ, does that, would, would that mean that you have to like drive like an hour and a half to get home? That's correct. That's correct. Um, what would I rate the chicken nuggets? Probably not, not at a time, right? Mm. I'm so upset. I saw her with the ranch sauce. I'm, I'm just finishing up the burger, y'all. I saw her with the ranch sauce. Where is it? Yo. Yo, I'm totally coming back here. It's so good. Mmm. Bro. American food is the best. I'm sorry. I don't care what y'all say. Mm. I'm so like, I'm eating this because like, I haven't eaten all day. But it's actually very good. Mmm. Mmm. I wonder what their mushroom burger tastes like. Let me know if I should do part two. But I really don't want to do part two because, like, doing this logistically is so much work. But, guys, mmm. I'm drinking some water. The vanilla. Milkshake is good, but like I'm not into that right now. 
I've been gardening my butt off. Like, I'm at the landscaping com companies here in my local city trying to figure out, oh, you know, which compost that I use. Not like food compost, but for the soil. There's compost there. Fast forward if you want to hear this, but it's compost made out of yard waste, local, local yard waste that you can use to top up your soil. Because my garden but underneath this tree in our house is quite flat. So I want to raise it up a little bit and create that curve, curve of the edges, obviously, and plant. I don't know what I'm going to plant. Probably a couple of hookras, some um, ground cover plants like um, sedum, um, coleuses. However, it's a full shade, full shade garden that I've created because the full shade from the tree. Anyways, I'm exhausted. Like, okay. If I were to rank everything, I would probably... What do I look like, guys? Do I look okay? I've been shoveling, digging, cleaning all day. Okay. Number one, burger. Number two, fries. Number three, chicken nuggets. Kind of on the, all on the same level. They're all really freaking good. Okay? Like, really good. And then hot dog. Don't buy that shit don't buy the hot dog i do want to try the mushroom burger and i do want to try the sweet tea um they didn't give me my ranch sauce so that's on them <laughs> um not on me because i did try to get a dipping sauce they do have dessert they have this um kind of like ice cream yogurt type of thing where you can have like chocolate and caramel they have a butter tart they do have alcohol, wine and beer, weirdly enough, you can take home. Um, and of course, fountain drinks. In addition to your sweet tea, milkshake. Um, I'm very happy. Like I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, I, I like it so much that I'm gonna save it. So I can eat it on a salad. It is really good. That was very good. I'm really disappointed though that of the ranch sauce. Okay, y'all, that's it for this mukbang. Let me know if you guys want me to do another mukbang from Shake Shack. It's very good. Highly recommend. I'm telling my Italian family when they come here, they should come and visit. Try Shake Shack. It's very good. Um, with that being said, do they have it in, I don't think they have it in Boston. My family's from, from Boston. Stay woke, stay healthy, and stay safe. And don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe and like this video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know about your gardening. I'm gardening. It's fun, but also very exhausting. Tell me some tips on how to gain some energy up with that. Let me know. Um, Do not get the cheese fries because there's no cheese. So I don't know what they're talking about. Um, It's barely cheese. And um, yeah, this was um, this is probably one of the best mukbangs so far. One of the best of like the top 10 I did so far this year. Stay woke, stay healthy, stay safe. Bye, guys.